Hi, I'm Michael and welcome to my Urushi studio. I will show you the, the pan I was preparing for the procedure I'm going to apply on it several days ago. I showed it online uh, in one of the videos. Uh, I mixed Urushi, red Urushi, with egg white and then applied it on a pan and what does egg white do? It makes uh, Urushi more thick and it makes it stick and better and it does not flow, it does not change the place where you put it. And it dries much longer of course, but it creates a special sur surface on the, on the surface, of the special like a pattern on the, on the surface of the pan. I created like a long strokes uh, of this Urushi on pan. I don't know if you can if you can see this. And today I am going to uh, put a layer of transparent Urushi, very thin one. It will be rubbed on again, and then I will apply silver dust on it. So let's start with brush. As in last video, I'm applying it with a lint three tissue. Mm. It's the most convenient way uh, from my point of view. <laughs> it works for me. What is funny about Urushi is that you have to experiment a lot. You have to experiment with curing, we have to experiment with applying it. Uh, in Japan there are schools when you can learn Urushi, but uh, most people who did that in past or do now, they learn from someone else, from a master. And every master has own techniques. There is nothing like something universal about Urushi. So every uh, master develops his own techniques, his own tools even, or mixtures uh, that works, that work best for him or her. And you have to do the same. So if you want to start Urushi, you have to be prepared that there is no there are some, but there is no recipe for doing this or that. You have to work it out. Mm. Okay, I have to be careful not to miss any spot. So this light I'm using for video helps me tremendously <laughs> with that. Uh, okay. section. Why I made this structure, this pattern on the surface of the pen? I will cover it with silver dust. When it's cured, I will cover a whole pen with several layers of uh, single color Urushi and then I will green this Urushi back uh, to see the layers of red Urushi and silver which will be below uh, below those new fresh layers of monochrome Urushi. That's how it should work and I hope it will. I'm not sure because it's a it's new silver I have never used it so I'm not sure what is the best way to apply it so I will start with the brush and we will see how it goes. I think it it works well. Uh, you can buy silver in Japan powdered silver. 
but it's quite expensive and I found that there is a substitute for the finest powder, silver powder, uh, available in Japan and the substitute is, uh, I don't know the English name to tell you the truth, but it's the silver which is obtained by chemical reaction, so it's uh, probably from the uh, one of the silver uh, compounds, it's in Polish it's stroncone, but the powder is extremely fine, so it's very similar to the powder used uh, in Japan, but if you want other grades, other uh, types of silver, gold, platinum uh, powder, unfortunately you have to order it from Japan. Uh, just gold, I counted over 30 different kinds and grades of powder used in Makia and Rushi in general, so quite a lot. Uh, okay. okay, it goes very well. I'm happy, <laughs> even a little bit surprised. Uh, I expected some problems, but there are none until now. <laughs> The silver I use is much cheaper than the Japanese, so try to look for it first before you spend a lot of money on uh, Japanese one and postage especially. Okay. And the last piece, the section. And tomorrow it will be ready to for following steps. So probably a color layer. I did not decide yet what color it would be, it will be. And I hope that one layer of silver is enough, but we will see. I hope it will be nicely visible when the surface layer will be grinded to expose it. Okay, that's it. Silver pens. Quite impressive, with very interesting pattern on them. Cool. So that's it for today. Please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell button if you don't want to miss any of my future videos. Share this video if you want and drop a visit on my Instagram and my blog. Thank you. See you later.